Hey guys, it's me and Glam Good. And the little pink princess dragon. Hello to everybody. Hey guys, what are we talking about today? New makeup. <laughs> That's true. This isn't just new makeup. It's new makeup to us, but it's really new makeup. You've seen this already for, I don't know, a couple of months. But it's still relatively new. So, you guys go take a seat and we will get this out and give it a trial run and my camera is not Ooh, I'll tell you what <clears throat> now you guys know I'm moving everything around I'm gonna work on this a little more today I'm just trying to figure out the whole camera deal maybe I need to move over a little bit ah! my chair doesn't want to move nothing wants to work including me my day off. I shouldn't be at work, right? Things should not be this difficult. But still, like... Ooh, might be good if you could see my chin, huh? Alright, that's... I think maybe a wee bit better. Wee bit better. Okay. So. We got... Uh-huh. And I need to peel that off the top. How do you get, does anybody know how to get this off without like destroying the box underneath? Because I just, I, I don't know. Yeah, I kind of want to keep the box. Here she is. Let me tell you what, this thing, I didn't put it back in its wrapping. I've looked at it a hundred times. <clears throat> I have not even swatched it yet. I've been waiting for you guys. There is Toddy, and everyone is going, oh, she's so beautiful. Well, this picture, I don't think that this is the best picture of her. I mean, I've watched her on YouTube a thousand million times, and I just don't think, I think she looks a little, um, and maybe she was doing a hundred thousand photos, and she was just busy and run down, but she looks a little shallow, a little hollow, in this she doesn't look like plump and healthy um i mean she doesn't look unhealthy by any means i should i should look that unhealthy right but yeah i do believe she has looked better in her i think she was probably just working really hard trying to like do a photo shoot or whatever look at this i love this like shipping stuff this is awesome um yeah, she was dehydrated. What do you want to bet? She was under them lights for hours trying to get the one shot, and she was dehydrated. Yep. <clears throat> like I said, I I should look so unhealthy, right? Okay, this we're going to toss over there because we have a tiny table here to work on, and... Out of the plastic and now I'm gonna kind of keep the plastic over here wait a minute where's my oh there it is okay let's toss the receipt over there and I don't know if you can see this or not but it's kind of raised lettering there there you go it says Tati Beauty <clears throat> this is um Tati Westbrook's first makeup palette and having watched her like she was one of the first she was probably the first person that i really started watching on youtube and she was kind of an inspiration to me to even start my own channel with the whole you know what you can do whatever you want to do because it's your life and as long as you're not hurting anybody else hello you know 
Um, so yeah, she's she's definitely very inspiring. Yeah, volume one, which means there's going to be more. And Tati Beauty. We need to hurry because I know my Tuesday one cut off. It only cut off by like 30 seconds, but still, I hate it when it does that. This thing has a huge mirror. Like the entire top of it is mirror. It might bend back. I don't know. I'm kind of scared to... Well, no, there she goes. Yep, she bends all the way back. I love that. And you've seen this a thousand times, but here's a thousand and one. There she is. And this is supposed to be like a neutrals palette. Um... Yeah, okay, I can see where it's a little neutral, but it's also uh, a little warm, um, you know, with, what is this, with Poet and Story, I think, are, are a little warm to really be considered that much of a neutral palette, but, you know, okay, um, you guys have all seen the names already, but let's read them off anyways. The black is, I have no idea. Memory, uh, the dark brown is ritual, then is the orange is story. Uh, the tan is soothe. Um... The light color is Aura, and this one on the end is Poet. And this is the name for all the shades in that whole row, okay? Uh, it's what? It's matte. Oh, wow. How freaking thoughtful. It actually, okay, matte. Sequin, metallic, and glitter. So, matte, sequin, metallic, and glitter. And sequin, from what I understand, is basically matte with uh, some glitter or some metallic mixed in. Now, I got to tell you right off the bat, this thing here in Poet is calling my name. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there is like blue in there. So, yeah, we're definitely, that's going to have to go on the lid. Um, I'm going to use the <clears throat> Aura in Metallic. The Aura is the light one. And we're just going to go like... Shader brush, and yeah, that Foxy Charm shader brush, right? Like I said, I haven't even swatched these, and for my, I understand they are potent. So we're gonna just do like the upper quadrant here. Um, I really just don't want to run out of time. So. Tell me about your Christmas, you know? Did you have a good Christmas? Did you fight with your relatives? <laughs> Did you have relatives over that, you know, tested your metal? Um, we don't really do Christmas in the sense that most people do because there's really just myself and my son and if I had transportation, I, there are a couple places that we could go, but, you know, I don't have transportation this year. So, um, basically, we're going to exchange gifts, which means I'm going to give him a card with a gift card in it. <laughs> and he's going to say, oh, Mom, Merry Christmas. Gee, I'll give you some money when I get my next check. Because he will have totally forgotten about the whole thing. Um, 
for those of you that don't know, my son was, uh, his brain was damaged, uh, injured at an early age, and he just doesn't, uh, he just doesn't think the way the rest of us do. Okay, that is, that's nice. I'm, I'm good with that. Really, okay, what can I do that's going to go with that blue? Mm. All right, we're going to take the, what is this, Poet? The Matte Poet, and we're going to do the crease with it. I don't know why I keep sticking that in like twice and I need to stop doing that. We're going to just kind of do the outside corner here and bring it up. Like y'all knew. Y'all knew Poet was going to be the first one because you guys know how I feel about pink. I know I need to move my pink background. I got so much to do today. I need to move my pink background over here behind my table. And I need to figure out a better, I need to figure out a better system. Um, I actually have to go down and pay property taxes next month. So January, like, uh, probably towards the end of January. And there is a store called Best Buys, which probably most of you are familiar with, but um, they have like a lot of technical stuff and their employees are pretty knowledgeable. So um, the last time I was in there, I just didn't, I don't use cards, I use cash and I just didn't have enough cash with me. I had other plans, but um. They have this like little kind of a stand, sort of a small tower stand thing that um, you can put your phone on and it like clamps on your phone instead of having to use rubber bands like I'm doing now. And um, you know, then you can just set it on something and you can even raise it or lower it. And it wasn't real expensive. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but I'm pretty sure, you know, $40 would cover it. Probably plus some. So I really, as long as I'm using the phone for a camera, I think I need to get some things that are going to make it easier to use the phone for a camera. I ordered this ring light thing. But it doesn't really work, and the whole clamping thing was not, it was very confusing. But yeah, I got it from Amazon, and it just, the, the whole thing just didn't work. It just, it, you know, that's why I have, I'm using it, but only because the arm moves, um, and it clamps on to something, but, um, rubber bands holding the phone to it with rubber bands and then I have a piece of wood stuck through the back so that the phone will stay you know so that the phone won't tip like so yeah yeah pain pain in the boudoir so guys so far like that is mm -mm -mm, that is pretty okay um Oh, my other rag must have hit the ground. Here's a rag for wiping my fingers off. I'm going into that Poet uh, the Sequin. Um, going in with my fingers. That is really pretty, but, and maybe now, you know, those of you that don't know, I have a 
eyesight problem at this time. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to the going to see an eye surgeon who is going to do like an evaluation and uh, hopefully once he sees how bad it is he's going to set me right up with a an appointment for the uh, surgery and get these cataracts removed oh man that is at first I couldn't see the sparklies, but now I can. I don't know if that'll come up on camera or not, but I'm going to kind of just go in the crease and blend that out because ooh la la. Okay, I can tell that is going to be really a favorite really neutral look here right <laughs> wow that is so so pretty okay metallic if i want to go dark or light I think I'm going to go light. I'm going to go in with this um, Aura into the metallic. And I'm going to put that. That's the, the light one. Ooh, that's really soft. And I'm going to put that right here. That is really soft. I know y'all are I need to like put some stickers on the back of this mirror because I know you guys really end up looking at the back of this mirror quite a bit put this on the other finger it might be easier the trouble is when I close this particular this is the eye that I can see with the best so when I get between the mirror and that eye it's really difficult to judge where I am going and what I am doing Come on, let's um actually just grab a different clean brush here and see. Ooh, yeah, it does. Um, especially this eye, I think this one. I've got a lot underneath, but that's okay. I think that's why we have concealer. Um. Here is my other, I like this one for this particular brush for going under the eye with. And I am going to use, I think, the, the matte in, oh gosh, what is this one? Soothe. I'm going to use the matte in Soothe, which is the kind of middle brown one and I'm just going to use that to go under the eye a little bit wow yeah that did catch in my little dark spot there pretty bad that is so pretty and where is that? Wow, look at that was a clean brush, right? Okay, I'm going to use this to kind of pull that highlight up in here a little bit. And you know what? I'm also going to use that to kind of pull a little bit under the eye. Kind of blend it with that soothe. Okay, and 
I can see where you can lose control with this. It's really easy to pick up more than you want to. I'm going to do some concealer and some, uh, you know, the lashes. Mascara. Woo! And I'll be right back. Ooh, I think it's going. So, what do you think? Like, hmm. That is pretty. Now for the glitter. What do you think? I mean, I just put, <laughs> this is such a beautiful, beautiful palette. Like seriously, she is so pretty and you really have to be absolutely positive that you don't Get too much because you know one one tap will do it otherwise it's all over the place and I should have known that seriously my bad I should have known that from like using Jeffree Star and things like that this is a palette that's gonna last you a lifetime because you're not gonna take very much out of it at one time or if you overdo it you're not gonna like it because it's gonna be all over your face um and you don't need to build it because, yeah. Okay, I am thinking that I want to use, I want to use the Soothe, which is this one, um, in the glitter, which is on the top. And I'm not using any glitter glue or anything, so yeah, it's probably going to be all over. I should know better feels really nice and soft. I'm just going to put a wee bit right in the middle. And Soothe was, there it was. Ooh. I don't think I need any more than that. Ooh. I don't know, is the camera even catching that? Sometimes I know it's so hard to even see how pretty things are because the camera just doesn't, it just doesn't do it. So, I'm really happy with this and you're definitely going to be seeing a lot of this. This is, you know, I... Well, no, I bought the, the Too Faced uh, House Party palette. And mostly everything, though, comes in... I mean, that was the last one I bought, which was like, what, October? September, October. I got it for my birthday. And I, you know, this is my Christmas present to myself. I would not have done this, except that I just really like Toddy. And, um... I knew that whatever she came out with was going to be really, really good stuff. So, <laughs> we'll definitely be playing with this a lot more. Um, you know, if there's a particular something you want me to use in this palette, just let me know. Comment below and tell me what was your favorite thing that you got for Christmas. doesn't have to be makeup. You know, maybe you got, I don't know. A car. Yeah, I, I would be really impressed with a car, personally. But, you know, what did you get for Christmas that you thought was the best thing? Did you have relatives? Was it just your immediate family? You know, tell me about it and just comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hey, if you're already a subscriber, you know we got some goat love going around cuz thank you so much for spending your time with me the dragon and the goat <laughs> like us hey please hit that thumbs up or the thumbs down you know just rate the channel and uh you know share us help us to get a little more exposure so that you know we can get up to that 300 and have another uh, we'll have some little giveaways between then and, and now, but 
And 300, I'd like to have another, like, you know, a nice little plumpy giveaway. <laughs> so, until the next time, I hope you wake up dancing every single day. Bye-bye.